Okay. Seven. Like I said, we live in a seven cycle manifest right now. And uh, the meaning by that is, uh, as in the Bible would teach, but that everything can be broken up in this understanding dealing with the seven uh, as far as how man interacts with the universe. So we're going to use this basic seven or this mandala to teach the seven of the universe on how it correlates to us on a basic level. Uh, when I say seven cycle manifests, let's break down some of that. We know we work on a seven day week cycle. Uh, or, you know, as I probably say, seven days in the week, it's also seven days in the year. Because there's only seven days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they're repeated 52 times in one year, which we know five and two once again. Is seven, but um, the seven also comes in two different cycles as far as how even our how our calendar works, dealing with a lunar cycle and a solar cycle. Those 52 repeated sevens in a year that deals with the solar cycle of how the sun works, and if we look at the lunar cycle. It's re the seven is repeated four times in the little cycle, or as in a woman's menstrual cycle. Every 28 days is a new cycle, so that's seven times the four. Um, that say okay, well how how we breaking that down even more into the seven is that we know that we have. Um, we deal with the solar first we have three cycles or three circles and four phases in the lunar calendar you have your four phases you know your spring summer fall and winter but you also have three cycles in that You got your beginning, middle, and your end, or your cardinal, fixed, and mutable essences of that solar cycle. And we know, so we take the three cycles and the four uh, different levels of that, or phases of that, you know that three to four, once again, brings us back to seven. Um, this mandala has 25 different symbols. One and four and then 12. So one, four, eight, 12 gives you 25. And two and a five once again is a seven. So we're dealing this with this in the seven cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As in the solar understanding of this is the mundane cross dealing with those seven once again call them seven chakras uh, seven music notes seven rays of light but it happens in this way you have your solstices and you have your equinoxes once again dealing with that seven um, what else we got here? We got four levels. Personal, interpersonal, right? Managerial and organizational. Four levels, either way you want to go. And then you got the three rings. The center ring, the second ring, and the outer ring. This outer ring demonstrating belief. So the space from here to here deals with belief. Then you got the second circle of faith. And this from here deals with that that second circle or you can call it a diamond 
but we're still keeping our finger on the finger on there. So we're gonna call it a circle. Deals with faith, and then the last circle deals with fruition and going in that way. So this is the fruition, this is the faith, and this is the belief. We also got, and we got the elements. Four elements: air, water, earth, and fire. Those four elements, and then how they broke down in three. Those four elements are broken into three different ways. You have the solids, your liquids, and your gas. So that four and the three once again brings you back to the seven. Just to bring you to an understanding of how the seven, or how we're living in a seven cycle manifest, or how the seven uh, pertains to us, and why I say this. So we look at all those things. Even in the seven seven part of your human life. You get your beginning, middle, and end of your life, or you got your, your baby, your adolescence, or your baby, your child, your adolescence, and then adult. So those four divisions of, of human nature, and then on um, three levels. Physical, mental, and spiritual levels. So this lesson book is dealing with the seven of the manifest. Uh, as we get more into it, we will continue to expound on each symbol and how they're connected. But we're going to start with the seven first because this is the center. Seven represents man. Them seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six being that other triangle pointing down to that connection point and seven being the God in the center. So seven, to understand the seven, here's some sevens that you can look up that will bring you into a little better understanding of the symbol of the seven and this numerological understanding. You got the seven notes, as I said, seven music notes, the seven colors of the rainbow, uh, seven, seven layers of skin, seven circuits of the brain, seven continents, all beginning with A, except for this new one, Europe. You got the seven seas, you got the seven heavens, seven deadly sins, you got the seven virtues, your seven steps in science, and your seven angels, and your seven seven everything. Every the seven chakras, you know. But if you get into those seven, that will give you a better understanding of where we're taking it and what this mandala is teaching. And at that point, you will be able to more understand the lesson book. And with that study, you will be able to create your lesson book and expand on this. So this is the teaching tool, the right brain teaching tool for the masses. Uh, this is my blessing for me to you. Hopefully we can continue to build upon this. Peace and thank you for your attention.